Arguably the most valuable real estate on a mobile device is the lock screen. It's what we look at the most times during a day. And Naveen, within Moby Group, where you're founder and CEO, your newest go-to-market is Glance, which is really making the lock screen truly interactive with all sorts of applications. What caused you to think that that was a really good opportunity? We looked at the lock screen and we said, hey, you know, what's the best way to monetize this lock screen? Because it really is not getting monetized. There is no such screen that exists out there which is solving for discovery. Everything, every the whole mobile platform is created and designed with intent in mind. And therefore we started to, you know, experiment on that and eventually, you know, hit the market with what we think is a great product market fit. And, and you know, consumers have absolutely loved Glance since they have been using it. And from the lock screen, everything from games to shopping to news to sports and entertainment to TV, you're creating all these different types of content. And now you've created a platform that allows content developers and producers to publish with you. So we are the largest news platform now in India um, and now increasingly in, in across Asia. We're the largest gaming platform in a matter of like six months in, in India, then now starting to make that happen in, in Asia. Uh, and the, the latest thing that we are trying to launch is on television, which is short form TV. We don't want to compete or take time away. We're not a long form platform for a long form content consumption. So we're trying to build you know, short form content that people can just use while they're on the go. What do you think is going to be the leading uh, application for Glance? Is it in sports? Is it entertainment? Is it games? What, where, where are people ahead? You know, there is cohorts of people which are using every different kind of things. So we kind of think of ourselves as a gateway to the internet. So if you are interested in news, well, we got news for you. And the AI would eventually give you more and more news uh, in your language, most probably. If you are somebody who is into gaming, that starts to really take off. You know, we have all sorts of right applications sitting on top of the Glance platform, but what really gets utilized is a function of who you are. And therefore, we just have to make sure that we do a great job of making all of these applications you know, have all the content that they need. And the, having said all of this, by the way, the news is the largest consumption platform today. It's a content after chat. It's the highest amount of dynamic content that gets created in a day. Obviously, the applications are consuming bandwidth, and so the carriers have uh, a stake in this as well. And obviously, revenue per user, they have a stake in that. Uh, wh what types of partnerships or relationships are you forming with the global carriers, global mobile operators? Well, so there are two kinds of markets that we go after. The first set of markets are in Asia, which are not carrier controlled. So there, the carrier partnership is, a, is merely a partnership where they, they have a partnership with the consumers who end up paying for the data that they consume. But as we get into the more developed markets, which are car where carrier you know, subsidizes the handsets, we're now starting to work with them to try and make sure that we get those devices uh, and the carrier also participates in this in this playbook. Seeing the success of the OEMs, the carriers are equally excited and interested in not just the device monetization, but also the data monetization that uh, that you know that'll start to happen.